Recently, I invited viewers to contact me if they have an old Vancouver artifact they'd like to show everyone. A gentleman named Carl found a 90-year-old item recently that is very mysterious. It relates to the famous American humorist Will Rogers. Will was a massive star in the 1930s. He was the highest paid and most popular actor in Hollywood. He died in 1935 when his plane crashed in Alaska. He was 55. You might recall from one of my recent vlogs that Will Rogers was a big fan of Vancouverite and fastest man in the world, Percy Williams. I went to see Carl at his beautiful home in the green pastures of East Vancouver. In the clip, he's going to describe what he found, and then we'll take a look at his treasure. Right on that corner, right? I didn't know much about her, but, uh, you know, on the Sylvia I used to work at, and uh, so, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, so... Um... State your name and uh, where you were and what you found. Uh, my name is Carl Baird and I was living in a building that was from 1910 on uh, Main Street, the corner of Main and 19th. Um, and I was in that building for about 10 years. And uh, I was uh, one night coming home, my girlfriend and I, she was driving, I was in the passenger seat. We got out, it was just getting dark out and the rain was starting to come down. And I noticed something on the side of a tree that had just been placed there, you know, seemingly, and um, I didn't think much of it. I just thought it looked old and paper in there, so I thought oh, I'd better grab it and, and protect it, you know, and so I, I grabbed it and I carried it upstairs to my place and I had it above my fridge for two years. And then I finally, one day, I got the notice that we had to move out of that place and I decided to go through the scrapbook and take a look at it and see what it actually was and I was kind of blown away that it's I just didn't really take it too seriously in the beginning because uh, it's I think it's an important timepiece that should be you know saved and protected so and so Will Rogers we know was a massive star in the States yeah yeah huge and he was like like he got presidents elected and he was an ambassador for the States and he was also um, you know some of the first big contracts from silent movies he was a radio star and then went into some of the first contracts for the IATSE and things, who I work for now and things. And so I thought it was really cool and interesting that, you know, the history of film, we're talking about not just, you know, that he was a film star or anything, the, 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 the beginning history of talking films, he was a major part of that. So that alone is, is historic, you know? So if anybody's out there, they know the, the secret to this scrapbook. <laughs> yeah. If uh, I could get in touch with you, yeah, leave, you a, and, leave a comment and, and we can yeah, solve the mystery. Absolutely, because it, it's if you can find this mystery and we can figure this one out, it's a good one. So, yeah. Well, thank you very much. Yep, I'm no problem. And here is the scrapbook. It's full of old news clippings from Texas. How it got here to Vancouver is a mystery. Carl discovered that Will Rogers' body was secretly flown into Vancouver in 1935 and kept in a locked hangar until it was flown to Oklahoma where he's interred at the Will Rogers Museum. One of Will Rogers' most famous sayings was, I never met a man I didn't like. He also said, we are here just for a spell and then pass on. So get a few laughs and do the best you can. And there's something else in the scrapbook that may have belonged to Mr. Rogers. Carl's going to show it to us. Maybe just hold it up. And you think that could be Will's? It was in there. That's all I can say. I would like to know who owned this, right? If it was some kids or, you know, that some somebody's, um, somebody's scrapbook. And if this is in any way connected to Will Rogers, it's, <laughs> you know, you just can't, you just won't find anything like that ever again. Yeah, I'd be grateful if you'd take a moment and leave a nice comment below thanking Carl for his hospitality and sharing his love of old Vancouver as she once was. If you have something cool you'd like to show everyone, please contact me. Shout outs today to Carrie O'Donovan, Lisa Urlescu, Margaret Sanchez, and Mario Escalante. My thanks to Bev Sugarman for makeup and Jewel Hailmere for wardrobe. Thanks for watching and subscribing. And until next time, that's a good bee.